Uh, hi, Mr. Prime Minister. Joshua came with the Globe and Mail. I do have a question for Mr. Morneau directly, uh, if you'd be able to answer one. He is right yes, there. but you have to ask a question of me first, because you get a chance to talk to the Prime Minister. <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, why, you know, having had these conversations with uh, the Ethics Commissioner, uh, why didn't Mr. Morneau put his substantial holdings in a blind trust to insulate himself, uh, much like yourself? Uh, the Ethics Commissioner uh, works with all parliamentarians who consult with her to ensure that what they are doing uh, meets the highest standards of integrity and responsibility that all Canadians expect of parliamentarians. Uh, and the Finance Minister followed exactly every recommendation uh, that the uh, Conflict of Interest and Ethics Commissioner uh, made to him. That is what people expect of our parliamentarians, and that's uh, what they expect of our ministers. Sure, no, wanna, wanna. What's your question? Why did you not choose to put uh, your assets in a blind trust? Well, I think the Prime Minister said it well. The, um, we've got a system that uh, encourages people who've uh, done other things in life to come into public life. And we've got an approach with the Ethics Commissioner that allows people to lay out their assets, to listen to the recommendations of the Ethics Commissioner, and then take those recommendations. And that's exactly what I did. I disclosed all of my assets to the Ethics Commissioner. I listened for what the best way to ensure that I wouldn't have a conflict of interest would be in her estimation. And then I moved forward and I complied with that approach to the letter. And what I can tell you is that I will continue to do that. This process includes an annual review of our assets. Should the ethics commissioner recommend to me in future that I would have a blind trust as an alternative, I would be happy to do that. What I've done so far is exactly what the ethics commissioner suggested I should do to ensure that I'm free from conflict of interest. This is really important work we're doing. What we're talking about today is helping small business owners across the country. I feel privileged to have the opportunity to do that work. And the only way I can do it is if I can make sure that I follow the rules that we've laid down, rules that are intended to allow us to get at the work that Canadians elected us to do.